We all get sick from time to time with the flu or something. We become bedridden and we feel down, really down. We go to the store and get some medicine, but it only works sometimes. If we're lucky, we get the down-home treatment, our mother's love and a nice bowl of chicken soup. But not any kind of chicken soup, oh no, hot chicken soup. So hot that its warmth and afterglow lifts our spirits and gives us the power to fight what ails. And that's what something hot does. It makes you excited. It gives you energy. It makes you feel like everything is going to be all right, even if it's just for a little while. And that's why we're asking, what is hot? Hot music makes your heart beat faster. It makes you forget about your body and encourages your spirit to just soar so freely that you might lose yourself. Take a red hot pepper, for instance, like the kind they put in Indian food. If you bite into that pepper, it can be so hot that you won't be able to tell your tongue from the rest of your mouth. Boy, that pepper will wake you up and let you know that you're alive. And that's also what hot jazz music does, but in a much gentler fashion. Now, what makes some jazz hot? Well, first, the rhythm. Playing rhythms with intensity and extra hustle is the best way to turn a piece of music from cold to lukewarm and then right to hot. We're going to play a part of a piece entitled Red Hot Pepper by the first great jazz composer, Jelly Roll Martin. Now that's not bad, but it certainly couldn't be considered hot, or even warm for that matter, because the rhythm was too plain. In jazz, one of the ways to turn up the heat is called syncopation. Syncopation means accenting unexpected beats. Syncopation also means playing the expected beats with great intensity. Here's that same portion of Red Hot Pepper again, but hot, with syncopation and with the fire of heat and desire. When you get a whole band of musicians syncopating, you get something as hot as boiling water, or wasabi, or morning grits if you're from the south.
Syncopation is one way to heat up music, but there is another way. Oh, yes, speed. The word for speed in music is tempo. That means how fast or how slow a piece of music is played. Fast playing, even if it's sloppy and poorly executed due to not practicing, creates a feeling of excitement. It creates heat. Well, if you're running fast, you're excited. If you're talking fast, you're excited. It's hard to do fast things and be unhappy. Just like driving a car fast or running around in some football game or spinning around on some crazy ride at the amusement park. Speed inspires joy. Let's hear how tempo creates heat. First, something slow. Exactly hot. Now fast. Let's look at a popular phrase that uses the word hot. When somebody says a hotbed of activity, that means there's a lot of things going on at the same time, like a good party, people dancing, talking, arguing, clowning around, just people all over the place. Now that's a hot party. And if you want your music hot, just make sure that there's a lot going on. For example, this next piece has a driving tempo, heated syncopation of rhythms, fanning of horns with hat mutes, a rapid exchange of solos, and joyful lift of beat. It's a composition by Duke Ellington entitled Old Man Blues. One, two, one, two, three, four.
talk fast, start speaking back and forth with someone else, when we become insistent and urgent about expressing our own point of view, when we both are unyielding but still determined to force the issue, it is said that we're having a heated exchange, also known as an argument. It is always loud and fast. In a large jazz ensemble, the heated exchanges are generally between the brass and the reeds. Now I'm going to give y'all a great secret. The most effective flame-throwing weapon in an argument is emphatic repetition. It's hard to pronounce, but it's very easy to do. No matter what the other party says, if you want to make the temperature rise, just keep stating your point over and over and over again, each time with more force. In jazz, a repeated phrase is called a riff. After you're riffing and the brass and saxophones are having a forceful discussion, the next step towards the boiling point is increasing the volume. This is called a crescendo. Crescendo plus swing equals hot. Let's check it out on Eddie Durham's Every Tub. <laughs> 